Good morning and welcome to Food for Thought. It's December the 22nd, 2020, Tuesday, just two days before Christmas. I'm so glad that you could join us today for Food for Thought. We're continuing our Advent series on the subject of love and the love of God. Well, as I was thinking about what I would say today, um, I started reflecting upon the season that's been. And, you know, when I look back on my life, I, I really am filled with the realization that uh, things don't always go as planned. You know, we all have our share of troubles in this world. It seems as though each of us encounter things from time to time that make us question what's going on. As believers, we desire to experience God's blessings in our existence. But sometimes when the rain is falling, we feel anything but blessed. Leading up to Christmas, uh, my family has experienced a number of significant things that have made us feel this way. How about you? I know many of my friends also have been through some deep waters lately. In thinking and praying about these matters, I've come to the realization that actually what's going on is that God's loving hand is reaching into my life with love. Love, you say? It certainly doesn't feel like love, does it? Well, since the fourth week of Advent is our focus, and uh, the focus is in on the love of God, I, I believe that God wanted me to tackle this issue this morning with just a quick consideration. Sometimes as we look into our lives, we look at our actions as the hallmark as to whether or not we're living holy lives. Yes, it is true that the outward fruit of our lives speaks volumes of the state of our heart. God's Spirit still works at these things. But sometimes we forget that the sin that God desires to expel from our lives also manifests itself in our attitudes as well. Our attitudes are not always something that we consider as an area on par with our actions, but God knows differently. He understands what needs to be pruned from us even before we pray. If we have an attitude that needs changing, needs changing or adjusting, sometimes we can't even see it ourselves. But God sees it. And He sees all things and He cares. Consider the scripture passage in Hebrews chapter 12, 4-6, which states, In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And you have, com have you completely forgotten the word of encouragement that addresses you as a father addresses his son? It says, My son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline, and do not lose heart when he rebukes you. Because the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastens everyone he accepts as a son. As a believer, if you're facing hardship this Christmas, remember, God loves you. In his provision, he saw fit to express his love towards you with loving discipline. Jesus promised that when he comes again, he will receive us unto himself and bring us to live with him in eternal glory. In this place, he will wash every tear from our eyes and we will be with him in the everlasting kingdom that he has prepared for us. So in the midst of our struggle, we are called to take our eyes off what we are really only facing as a temporary circumstance. God's love for us is great. And as his child, he will accomplish his purposes in you for both large things and small things. So if you're going through troubled times this Christmas season, join the club. But consider what Peter writes in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. In all of this, greatly rejoice. Though now for a little while you may have to suffer grief of all, in all kinds of trials, these have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, 
which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. I pray that you'll be encouraged today to know that the Lord's love has been expressed to you and this season is a time to reflect on God's goodness. May God bless you as you look to Jesus as the source of your strength. This is Food for Thought.